So my husband being a vegetarian always asks me, would I ever become a vegetarian? And my answer to that is yes, but it's very likely I'd have to move in with my mum. Because I would only become a vegetarian if there was Indian food. Now, Indian food has such a large variety of vegetarian foods. I could, I could be a vegetarian and not ask you for any meat. So, if I was to become a vegetarian, I'd have to be eating Indian food a lot often than I do now. So, that's my answer to him. So, I'm going to share with you our favourite recipe. So, we both absolutely love paneer. I think anyone who eats paneer will fall in love with paneer. It's an Indian cottage cheese which holds quite firmly is slightly like tofu but the texture is a bit different so I'm going to show you how to make this it's super easy now this is some um, onions and peppers I blended earlier for another meal I'm just going to use that so it saves me from chopping up onions and so on but you'll definitely need an onion if you don't have one anyways any pan throw in some olive oil to the olive oil I'm going to go in and add the chopped paneer now all we want to do is just fry it enough to kind of make it crispy on the outside I come from a family where they would technically deep fry this I don't think it's necessary if you just kind of fry it slightly it's good enough you don't have to go out your way and overdo it by deep frying paneer Once they're slightly brown on most sides, if you're frying it this way, um, just take them out and place them on a kitchen towel. Um, you don't have to, but I recommend it. It's just so that it can absorb some of the excess oil that you don't really need in your diet. Since preparation is key, I'm going to go in and put all my spices into a small bowl. I've got turmeric here, I'm going to add some cumin powder and some coriander powder and some garam masala and also some chilli powder. These are the key things that I need in this. So in the pan, throw in some cumin seeds and also some fresh chilies, green chilies. If you don't have them, you can skip this. but this is a good thing to add so fresh green chilies and some cumin seeds stir that for a little let it saute for a few seconds before going in with your onions I've got onions and red peppers in this case which are blitzed up and they're super fine and just saute that for a little while before throwing in your garlic and ginger paste or chopped ginger and garlic Now, as you can see, the onions have become slightly translucent. I think that's the word. Anyways, yes. Um, go in with your mixture of spices and just toast that off a little before throwing in some tomato puree and adding in a tinge of water just to kind of mix it all together and turn into a nice kind of sauce. To this then, add your tin tomatoes and just break them down. I don't think you have to like chop them up outside the pot. I tend to just do it right inside. Break them down and let this cook. Now you want to let this mixture cook for a good 15 to 20 minutes because it's where all the flavors come from. If this is cooked properly, you're good. I've also added a teaspoon of ghee just because I want that nuttiness, that flavor in my food. And I'm also going to go in and add some chopped coriander you can add this right at the end, but I tend to add it somewhere in the middle just to add the extra flavour into the food. And let's just let this cook for a good few minutes. So when the oil begins to sit on top like this, 
the mixture is nearly ready so what it means is everything is cooked and it's kind of separated from the oil that's what you're really looking for you're looking for little tiny bubbles to start forming on the bottom of the pan because it's it's drying out it's it's cooking so that's what you're looking for you see these little bubbles that are coming through So because I absolutely love my peas, I'm going to add some frozen peas to my paneer recipe. I just cook that for a little, add the paneer and just add some cream on top and let that kind of simmer for a little before going out and dishing this. You can at this point add some water as well, especially if you know the consistency is quite thick, but make sure you add hot water or boiling water. You don't want to add cold water at this point. And there we have it serve it with some rice or some roti i've got it here with some roti and a salad and it tastes brilliant i hope you guys like the recipe please do like share and etc thank you so much for the love